five. Five? I'm going to have you guys hang on for one second because this group's almost full and I'm going to grab a group of two and send this one out. We'll start you off with your own group. Do I have a group of two anywhere? What up, guys? What's the last name? Chuck. Sage. Chuck. Two. Oh, yeah. Throw those on someplace okay. visible. Oh, oh bless you. I, I sent your roommates on an errand. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, there you go. Perfect. And then head right across the street. Four. You want to take mine? It's not next. Oh, I don't know if mine's going Um, but before we get to what this building is today, I want to talk about what was here in 1692. This is the location of a tavern that was owned by one of the accused witches, a woman that some of you may have heard of before by the name of Bridget Bishop. Bridget Bishop was actually the first person to be hanged for witchcraft here in Salem. And she was a very easy target for the powers that be um, in Puritan Salem. Bridget Bishop had, was on her third husband at the time of the witch trials, and she had inherited um, some pretty extensive properties from the previous two. surrounding towns in Massachusetts. All right, everyone, we have reached Old Burying Point. This is Salem's oldest cemetery. It dates back to 16 for signing the execution papers. He was the guy directly responsible for sending the accused to the gallows. He did this with great relish. He believed that he was doing the work of God here in Salem. And this is a belief that he clung to for his entire life. Um, Nathaniel Hawthorne never lived in this house, um, but it's named after him because he set a novel here at the end of his life, never finished, called um, Dr. Grimshaw's Secret. So we call this house the Grimshaw House today.
so this is the first time I've ever had a bar with my daughter, my mom, my brother, and my other daughter. And my other daughter, we'll do that again. What's up, Cupid? Let's zoom up on her face. Those are pretty nails you got. Yes, who did your nails? All right, turn it off. You did a good job.